Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke, episode 9 now. Uh, in the last episode we took down Bugsy and our rival, again we embarrassed them both. Nothing actually too fancy happened actually, Bugsy was much easier than Faulkner was in the town just before. In this episode we're going to head through the Ilex Forest, head out towards Goldenrod. It shouldn't take too long to run through here. Of course, we need to do the stupid hoot hoot. Is it far fetched or far fetched puzzle for this young man here? Oh man, my boss is going to be angry. The far fetched that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Far fetched have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they will face towards you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what to do, mate. We can actually find Pokemon in the Ilex Forest, so there is always the chance to catch something with our Pokeballs here. This puzzle is quite simple. You step on some twigs, it'll look towards you. And then you have to walk behind it. And you can catch it that way. The first one's much easier than the second puzzle. Uh, but I'm sure I can remember how to do it properly. I'm not going to embarrass myself again. Got it from behind, easy peasy. Thank you, you found Farfetch'd. There's one more. Yeah, 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 I know, mate. I know. Leave it with me. Always oh, a Pokeball down here. What are we going to get in this one? Green Shard. I forget, is that for us? Or is that a grass type empowering thing? I would imagine that would be called a Leaf Shard, right? Green Shard. Yeah, it's for the Arceus one. Okay, I always get the, the shards and the plates mixed up. Okay, let's keep heading up and up and up. This far fetched is there. I believe you have to like come from this way and scare it that way. Okay. Yeah, then you have to cool and then. Walk back around. I believe the encounters only start once you've actually caught both the far fetched. So now we can start finding some encounters here. You're welcome. Here comes. What's his face? Ah, my far. He calls them far and fetched. I hate this guy. But he gives us HM01, which is cut. So we can cut down these trees here. We will have to sacrifice one of our Pokemon's moves to teach it. Which is a bit unfortunate. But I'm not too fussed about doing that. Let's see. Let's give it to Timzy for now, I reckon. We'll get rid of... Actually, wait. Has... Uh... Sneasel got, I think Sneasel's got Scratch Quick or uh, Quick Attack or something. So if we teach it to Reaper, screw yeah, Quick Attack. Okay, if we get rid of that, because uh, Cut is essentially the more powerful tackle. Wonderful. Is that done? And also now encounters will start spawning in the forest, so we can actually catch the first thing we find in here. But that took fucking two steps. What are we going to find? A Kadabra, not bad at all. Level 5, so not super high level. Going to go straight for the Hypnosis. It's using Confusion, it's not too scary. We did put it to sleep. I don't want to risk hitting it with a move. I feel like that might knock it out. So we are going to go for... It's quite fast, we need a fast ball. That we got from Kurt in the last episode. I forgot about the whole B button thing. That was my mistake. Won't happen again, I promise. Let's try just a regular Pokeball. The B button is now held down firmly. Let's see what happens this time. One. Two. Fuck. Okay. I mean, we have to hit with a bubble, maybe. Okay, I'm going to risk a bubble. 
It woke up. Use confusion. That's fine. Please don't one shot it. Nice. Uh, let's put it back to sleep. Actually. Hypnosis. Wonderful. Right. Now we can carry on trying to catch this bad boy. Oh, no. Yes, Pokeball. B button's now held down again. Fingers crossed. One. Two. Three. Booyakasha! We got Kadabra, boys and girls. Kadabra will go in the box. I don't see us using it for a little bit. If it uses its abilities, it emits special alpha waves that cause machines to malfunction. It's four foot tall, okay. We will give it a nickname. Uh, we're actually going to call this one. If I can type properly. There we go. Mr. I'm sure you can guess. Mr. Miyagi. Yes. He's going into the box one to stay there and rest for a little bit. We may end up using it. We have still got two, uh, two water types. Um, so I may end up trading it out for mess at some point. Uh, but for the meantime, I'm going to keep our current team. Yeah, this man down there will teach us headbutt if we go to him. That will increase the amount of Pokemon we can catch because you can headbutt trees to catch them. But I'm not too fussed about it getting it just yet. We've got more story to do. Lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark. Ilex Forest. Yes, I will. Go, Mr. Pokemon, go. Look at Mess being friendly. Yeah, just give my Pokemon back, please. I like how it was that fucking easy. And there must be some sort of, like, really powerful trainers. Sunstone. We're getting all of the evolution stones today. Although I'm not running, I can run. I keep forgetting to. Okay, another brand new route here. We can actually catch something on this uh, this patch of grass. So we're going to go into our bag and just heal up mess real quick. Just so she's not at risk of, uh, of dying to anything that we find in the grass here. Lovely, let's have a look. What can we find? Fingers crossed it's good. Gengar! That is very good. I would like a Gengar, please. Look, that's fine. Dun. So now it's either catch or die. I'll grow up using spike, pussy. We will whittle it down slowly. One more water gun, and we can then use hypnosis. Perfect. Can it even attack? Curse. Oh no! <gasps> oh! How could you do this to me, Gengar? <sighs> Fucking piece of shit. Yeah, alright, whatever. Fuck off, Joey. I'm not in the mood. Try and skip most of these trainers here, if possible. Joey, what do you want? I swear to God, if this isn't important. Aoshi, howdy, it's Joey, how are you? Hey, do you remember my super cool Swablu? My Swablu is different from regular Swablu. It's like my Swablu is in the top percentage of Swablu. Do you know what I'm saying? No, I don't, mate, I don't. You chat and waffle to me, I don't care. Exposition time! Weirdo. No trainers for me, thank you. I'll do those off screen. More importantly, we can finally get the bicycle. Just in here. You there. I have my branch, but I can't sell any bicycles. Why is that? Can you ride a bicycle and advertise it for me? I never learned to ride a bike. Listen to the music. Look at those tunes. Do, 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 do. Honestly, make the best music. They will want to battle me here. <laughs> I'm too sneaky. You rat cock motherfucker. 
I've been getting Pokemon data off of my radio. I think I'm good. I don't, mate. Pinsa. Not the easiest one to break down, but I'm sure we can do it. Oh, a lot of XP. I was actually quite close there for mess. A little bit close. You know what? Yeah, we will. We'll get rid of Bubble for, water, for a double slap. Please. Thank you. What can we catch in here? The first patch of grass. And it is... A Flareon! For those who don't know or couldn't guess from the uh, thumbnail pictures, Eevee is my favourite Pokemon of all time. And I love all of the Eeveelutions. They're all amazing. So we're going to actually use a Super Potion on Mess here for a bit of health. I will use the shit out of this Flareon if we can catch it. Helping here, that's fine. We're going to use Double Slap here. It's going to be annoying, apparently. I'm hoping for a very little damage. Three. Oh, okay. That means we can hit another one. Hopefully it won't die. Please. Yes, perfect. Perfect. Hypnosis. Just a wonderful work. And we're going to go through and use a Pokeball. B button is held down. Now, normally people claim that Flareon's one of the uh, the worst evolutions. Fuck, I only bounced once. And while I agree it isn't the strongest, they're all amazing. They're all cute. Fuck you. B button's held down. Come on, Flareon, mate. You want to join the team. I know you do. I know you do. You... Okay. Okay, we're going to use a heal ball. Because maybe it will be happier with that. I don't know. Holding down the B button. Out of praying for this. One. Two. Three. Oh, we got Flareon and the heal ball. Oh, yes. Now it's going to be really happy for us as well. It's going to love us forever and ever. It flushed out its fur collar to cool down. Its body temperature, which can reach 1650 degrees Fahrenheit. We will nickname Flareon. We will indeed. Okay, we're going to call Flareon Marshmallow with a little sun, because it's just the coolest thing ever. I love it. It's fucking adorable. If we head into here, actually, I believe there is a little PC box that will... Perfect. Sorry, mess. I do like you a lot as a Pokemon. You've got hypnosis. It's all cool and stuff. But I want my, I want my Marshmallow. This building actually we're in right now is significant for a different reason, which is that this man here will be outside and here on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, I believe. Essentially, this is the bug catching competition where you can catch Scyther and Pinsir if it isn't randomized. And look at how cute it is. I love it so much. Let's have a look here, see what kind of moves we've got. Summary. Let's touch about Naughty Nature. It's less attack, more special defense. Not too bad. It's got decent stats, actually. It's got quite strong stats for a level uh, 12. It's got Intimidate, not too bad. It has got 10 defense, which is quite weak, but everything else is incredible. It's got a really high attack stat, actually. A really high attack stat. Moves are quite basic, but not too bad. It's a bulky boy. And actually, it's, so it's attacking-wise, it's really strong. If we've got any moves we can give it to it now, that'd be really handy. Any physical moves that will uh, power it up a little bit more. I don't think we do just yet. A bit unfortunate, but we can buy some. Ooh, I, I moved at the last second. Fuck you. I'm practicing my fire breathing. Interesting. Weightlifter Marilyn has Blossom. I would normally love this, but that's still, we're going to use Marshmallow all the same. How much damage will a tackle do? Mega Drain won't hurt much. It's special for a start, more a tanky special defender. Any physical moves are where Marshmallow is going to have some issues, I think. But other than that, it's not too bad. 
Oh, look at that attack stat. Just doing work. <laughs> do I hear new favourite member? I think I do. There we go. Marshmallow already doing work. 4-3-2 XP. Oh, so close. And a pincer. I'm... Oh, actually... Pence is quite a strong physical attacker, so we're going to keep it in for one turn just to get the XP and then switch to Boeing here. You what? Oh, shit, a biscuit. Sand attack? Oh, thank God, okay. Please miss loads. Bind is fine. You can use bind all you want, mate. Oh god, we're gonna lose Marshmallow already, I'm scared. Okay, we're gonna use one more sound attack and then we start hitting it with some tackles. To try and take it down. I'm kinda scared it's gonna like one jump me with like seismic or something. It missed, lovely. Tackle does oh no fucking damage, but we're freed from the bind and it's missing now. It might not have seismic toss, which is always helpful. I'm actually currently doing a, uh, a normal run through of this game, just sort of on my own. Um, I'm using a pincer on my team at the moment, and it's really strong, which is why I'm a bit more scared than I would normally be. There it is. Please don't kill my marshmallow. <laughs> oh god. Oh, marshmallow! I love you so much, marshmallow! Uh, honestly, mate. New best Pokemon. This Pokemon is going to take us through the entire game. I might just use it and only it. I'm in love. I fucking love Marshmallow so much. Two levels as well. Oh, just doing work. Honestly, mate, just doing work. No, you can't. You almost fucking come on Marshmallow, you dickhead. Lovely. Now we can buy Fire Blast for our newest member. I wasn't sure if this was Flamethrower or Fire Blast, but Flamethrower... As good as it is. I'm not fast either way. Fire Blast. Yes, we will use it. Not got many PP, but that's absolutely fine. Marshmallow, learn the move, mate. Yes. Get rid of Helping Hand. There we go. It's got a fire type move. Now it's just unstoppable, to be honest with you, mate. Have we got any... Uh... I know I said I'd save them, but I'm going to just... Sink all of these bad boys into Marshmallow. I'm playing favourites, mate. I don't give a shit. Oh, it's perfect. It's learning Ember as well. Yes, please. But in the next episode, we'll take on Whitney. And I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.